What's up YouTube? I'm going to show you how to check the snorkels on your four-wheeler and you can do this to any four-wheeler. It doesn't just apply to a Honda, but the Honda is the easiest way I can demonstrate it. So they have a two-inch pipe that goes from here all the way to the airbox. And what we're going to do is put smoke into it and see where it leaks, if it leaks. And if it does, we're going to fix it by sealing it up. And all I need here is a battery, um, this tool, which is a smoke making tool. I use mineral oil to put it in there. Um, and that's what's going to make the oil or the smoke that's going to go in there and show us where the leak's coming from. Okay. First, you're going to take off the warrior tip, which I've already done. I've set aside over there. I've put on a two inch quick cap from, uh, you know, Home Depot or anywhere you want to buy it from, or you can actually buy the fittings that they sell with that machine. Which you can buy a smoke making machine at any time and you can just put mineral oil into it and it will produce the smoke and you'll see where your belt box or anything could be leaking from. Not just, you know, um, this can find vacuum leaks, anything. It's for automotive use, you know? So after everything's hooked up and I've got the mineral oil in there, I'm gonna open it up and show you guys that there is actual, indeed, mineral oil in here. Crack it open, move it open. There is just a wick and mineral oil. That's all that's inside of this unit. And then there's power that's provided on the outside. That goes to a battery. You could use the four-wheeler battery, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to right now. All right, after you see that it's been warming up for a minute, you see that it's smoking a little bit. You're going to need an air compressor, which I have over there. It's turned on. I've got the pressure in it. I've got high flow fittings on all of my stuff. But anyways... You might not have it like that, but all we do is connect it. It's going to provide pressure. This is going to regulate how much smoke and, and air goes through. So I don't have to worry about how much PSI is going in through here because it doesn't matter. This is going to regulate it. So I go ahead and I let that pump it through. It's clearly pumping a lot of smoke in there. And let's look around and let's see if we can find where it's leaking from and if there's any type of leaks you'll see it you can see it actually in there it's filling up the whole pipe so far it's completely sealed and so you're simply just gonna follow it as you can see this thing is pumping out an enormous amount of smoke at this point it's pouring out of here because there's so much the whole line is filled up it's clear on this bike and you can see this whole line's filled up it's not leaking from anywhere else but I do hear a little bit of smoke and I, I i it's actually not smoke but i can hear a little bit of uh of air escaping from right here so he only has one tiny leak right here the rest of everything else is completely sealed if i open up the air box a lot of smoke should come out and that's how you know it's sealed so that's how you know you have a completely sealed snorkel when you open the air box and there's you know so much smoke in there no air is going to get into the snorkel kit at all because we completely confirmed there are no leaks at all other than right there so we're going to go ahead and fix that and get this bike back on the road and that's it thank you for watching what's up everyone i'm showing you how a honda 520 is reacting after the valves have been adjusted for the first time ever in its life this unit has had 166 miles uh, I don't know how many hours, a hundred hours. So a hundred hours just got on this unit um, and it's never had the valves adjusted. So let's see, ready, set, go.